before you allow your local Black Panther chapter, who are in lockstep with Clint Eastwood, to seize your inheritance in order to fund a brutal rapist guerrilla mercenary army in Sudan in the name of University of Washington social equity whose gangsters Fauci, Gates, and Inslee win on the COVID monstrosity. I suggest you try to learn a little bit about the sandbaggers and get some relief from what about what is going on. Back in the 80s, Jesse Jackson said when he was running for president, let those who had the party pay for the party. Of course, he was talking about Reagan and the military industrial complex. But by a Mobius slipknot and rhetoric, because he had gotten himself in trouble with uh, an adultery, he turned this around and put it on the AIDS um, hysteria with the help of Cornell West and Spike Old Lee. What we had in a situation where they were posing in secret that Yoko Ono would deliver on the idea that it was instant karma as an entertainment system. They used um, glorification of Auschwitz in their Japanese pornography company and in the script. It's very sad to see this accepted by our society. What happened in Dealey Plaza was that John Kennedy was executed, but his name was also tarnished by the Carousel Club, who used um, sexual vindictiveness. And uh, it was a striptease joint frequented by police. You're supposed to hear the overtones of um, JFK was like Jay Epstein in the idea that let those who had the party pay for the party. Now, of course, the people who had the party were the billionaires, the military industrial complex, and the aristocrats, but the sandbaggers all went along with this. So they're telling a story about Gaza that's only half true. The real target of, this, of the rage was supernova. And you can tell this by watching Pierre's Morgan. He has a man on him who's known as the son of a Hamas founder, and he's viciously pro-Israel. Israelis are banking on what John Lennon contributed to the assassination through the Caruso Club, which was to turn our society into a hothouse, a thriller system, where eroticism was considered to be violent, and the Christian Zionists went about proving this with the walrus script that con job concerning abortion. So the demonic forces in the world were encouraged by Nick Jagger and his Celine Dion um, crowd as to show that they don't actually present an example. And that we're in a prisoner's dilemma because of overpopulation and climate change. It's prisoner's dilemma that they consciously set out and created. They have known for a whole generation that this was what they were after. Just as they used the cathode ray tube in the opening episode of The Outer Limits to conjure the idea that Satan was in human sexual practices. So the whole issue of um, society boils down to Paul McCartney's view that he's letting the people who had the party pay for the party. Now where did they go? How did they go about this, these geniuses from Hollywood, Axis Hollywood with the Black Panthers? You can see it in Bewitched. Bewitched was one of the cursed episodes. They lived under the Kennedy curse. He has an Irish man who says, all I ever wanted was a Shetland pony. This is McCartney besmirching the sexual um, dignity of every Irish woman, facilitated by Claire Daly, amazingly enough, because the perverts and the sandbaggers who are glorifying sin more, get it? You should really get that pun, sin more. They went after the supernova. 
and with the help of son of Hamas, the zealot um, pro-Israeli, they demolished Gaza. Why did they demolish Gaza? For the same reason they demolished Arab Spring. They, they, Obama masqueraded that from Maduri he was demanding tribute to the system, martial law against adultery. Really, he was rendering tribute in the name of the United States to pornographic genocide. 